ओके एवरीवन सो नाउ वी आर मेकिंग द फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग द टर्बो सी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द टर्बो सी वी कैन सी दैट हेयर इज नो नेम जीरो जीरो डॉट सी पी पी दैट मीन्स डॉट सी पी पी स्टैंड फॉर सी प्लस प्लस बट हेयर वी आर लर्निंग द सी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग ऑन द फाइल वी हैज टू डू सेव एज इन द सेव एज वी हैज टू प्रोवाइड द नेम ऑफ फाइल Let us suppose that the file I want to save with my name. So this is the file name. Now afterward, press dot c. Dot c means it is the extension of C programming. So press enter or press OK. If already some file is present, it will say overwrite yes. Now the name of file is Ankit. Dot c stands for it is the C programming file. Now understand that whenever we start with C programming. we are having the main function main is the driving function means your program will start from the main wherever you will provide this main even in the end of the program your program will start from here only how you can see that it is a function you just provide the bracket here anything having the bracket starting and ending call a function so this is a main function now what this main can do for that we are providing the start bracket and the end bracket means in this main function if you want to provide any of the code you will provide here inside this brackets now this main is a function there are two types of functions one is returning something and one is non returning if we are providing int before that that means this function is returning the integer if in that case you are finding then at the end you has to provide the return and in the return you will provide the integer value let's say 1 now if your main function is returning float float stands for it is the decimal value then you will write return let's say 1.2 or something but let us suppose that if you are having void void means this is the second type of function which do not return anything so here this return keyword is not required whenever we start with the c programming we start with the basic and the basic is void main means your main is returning nothing compiler will call the main function your function will execute that's it simple now this is the standard format means every program will start with void main and starting bracket and the ending bracket so you has to make this program this way now if somebody ask you that print your name then understand that there is a function called printf so printf is the function which is going to print the name now where you will find this printf function printf function is already present into the c programming library so to take the help of printf function you should be taking the header file header file is called the library to include the header file we will write hash #include means include the header file and here we has to provide the name so printf function is the part of stdio.h .h stands for it is the header file stdio means standard input output so you has to include standard input output header file in your program and afterward you can use the printf function so understand that whenever you are going for any of the programming language there are some functions already defined in their library now those libraries should be included so here we are including the stdio.h standard input output .h header file and including that so printf function will be now active inside this printf function i want to provide my name so start with double quote then write ankit verma then afterward end with double quote so here you can see that we have successfully given the statement for printf then afterward putting the semicolon so our program is ready to get executed first of all we has to do the steps the first step is the compilation compilation means check if some error is there so you has to go on the 
compile menu in the compile menu there is a first thing which is compile and the shortcut is alt f9 so enter you can see that success that means your file is compiled and this is ankit.c then afterward the lines compiled and the file available memory everything is mentioned and here is the success means there is no error in your program compilation success means no error everything is fine press enter now understand that let us suppose i remove this semicolon after what will happen again i will go on the compile menu alt f9 error you can see that error means your program is not perfect there is some kind of error press any key enter here it is saying that statement missing you have missed the semicolon the compiler is saying that you are having the error statement missing this is semicolon so then afterward i am providing the semicolon here then again i am compiling this alt c for the compile menu or again the alt f9 is a shortcut enter you can see that success so the first part of your program is make the program and compile it if the compilation is success your part is done now the second thing is execute the program so again we are going on the run menu and in the run menu we can see that control f9 is a shortcut for running so enter program is run but we can't see the program we cannot see the output of the program where is the output so for seeing the output again there is one more thing which is window in the window menu you can see that there is a user screen which is alt f5 so press enter you can see that the output window is having ankit varma so ankit varma is the output which is printed press enter so now we should understand that there are three steps first one is the compilation second one is the run and the third one is the user window now we can reduce these steps also first of all i am running this program one more time again i will go on the compile menu then i will compile it the shortcut is alt f9 so compile compilation success then again i am going on the run menu running it control f9 now afterward again i am going on the window menu and going on the user screen which is alt f5 you can see that two times ankit varma is there ankit varma ankit varma two times the reason is that our program executed two times but what if i don't want i don't want that my previous input should come i don't want that so for that we are having one more function that function is called the clear screen so that is function is c l r s c r clearing the screen and we know that every line of c programming end with the semicolon so here i have applied the semicolon now this c l r s c r function clear screen function is part of library understand that whenever you are going to do the programming and making any function then you has to include the proper header file now here this clear function is part of konio so header file name is konio konio is the name console input output and how to include first of all we provide h dot h means it is a header file and to include any header file we will write hash include then afterward start then afterward end so here the header file is included that means clr scr so clr scr function is the part of konio.h header file and printf is the part of stdio header file that's why these two header files are included let us suppose that i want to perform some mathematic operation then the math.h header file is there so similarly there are multiple header files we has to learn them whenever we are making the program we should know what is the proper header file need to be included but for making 90% of the programs you will find that these two header files are enough one is stdio that is for printing and one is konio that is for clear screen now afterward we are going to 
execute this program. Again, I am pressing compile menu, alt F9, success, there is no problem. Then afterward, I am again going on the run. So on the run menu, control F9, program run already. Then afterward, we are going on the window user screen, alt F5. Now you can see that only Ankit Varma is present. Although this is the third time we have compiled and executed our program, but previous all outputs are cleared because we have used the clear screen function. You know one more thing, there are three steps we are following. One is the compile, then is the run, then is the user screen. It is consuming so much time, very time consuming. So for that one more function is available, that function is called get ch. Get ch function is used for holding the screen. Why I am saying this is a function, understand that main is having starting and ending bracket, it is a function. Clear screen is having starting ending bracket is a function. Printf start and end with the bracket. Although there is something inside, it is a function. Get ch start and end with the bracket, it is a function. So everything which start and end with the bracket is the function. The get ch function and the clear screen function, these two are the part of conu. Means I don't have to include any separate header file. Already conio.h is included which contain clear screen as well as your get ch function. Now what is the benefit of get ch? Simply I am going to run this project. You now press alt r and this is run. You can see that all the phases are done at the same time. Compilation, run and user screen all done in a single phase. So here you can see that simply if you are pressing control F9, now your output screen will come. So here, if I am going to show you, then in the run, control F9, again the program is running. So this is the shortcut. So with the help of get ch, we can simply hold the screen and then afterward we can skip the different different steps. Now let us suppose that in this program I want this Verma should be coming on the second line. Then there is a special character which is called slash n. Slash n stands for new line. If I now run this project, now I am running this, you can see that Ankit then Verma into the next line. So by using this slash n we can go to the next line. But let us suppose that I want to provide a tab space. Instead of this slash and I will provide slash t. Now slash t stands for tab space. Now here I am again going to run this project. You can see that between Ankit and Varma there is a tab space provided. If I want to further improve, let us suppose that again I am writing one more time Ankit here. And before that I want it should be to the next line I will write slash n simply. Now again compile this and run this. Can you see that? Ankit is into the next line. Again if I want afterward there should be a tab space so press slash t and then write Verma. Then again you have to simply run this project then control F9. You can see that here into the next line with the tab space. So this is our first program by which we can display the name to the user.